I guess if your PC is stuck at blurry logging screen, uh, let's fix this problem. First of all, uh, make sure your computer is shut down either by pressing the power button for three to four seconds or uh, by any method, make sure your computer is fully shut down. Now press the power button once. Now as soon as the computer starts and something appears on your login screen, just press the power button and keep it pressed for five seconds continuously and it will get turned off forcefully. Now do this again and do this for three to four times uh, until you reach the screen preparing automatic repair. Okay. So this screen uh, you will see this message you will see uh, the logo may be different uh, maybe Lenovo or maybe Dell or maybe uh, you know any other manufacturer but this preparing auto repair uh, automatic repair message will appear on your screen then this screen will appear diagnosing your PC after that a uh, few seconds later this screen will rep uh, appear in front of you automatic repair and here you have to click on advanced options now after clicking on advanced option you will reach here okay now what you have to do click on troubleshoot now click on advanced options and now click on command prompt now if it asks your password this enter your password now command prompt window one it's open up type C and this sign uh, and hit enter to go to C because C is where uh, your operating system is by default installed. Now you have to run this command okay CD and this I have pasted this command in the description of the video given below just copy and paste this command and run it after that type DIR okay and hit enter now if you see uh, you know uh, some files like db dot db files like that uh, there just uh, type del and a dot between uh, them uh, between the extra marks this command okay just copy and paste this command to run this command and after that all these three commands get executed fully close the command prompt window and start, try to start the computer again and your problem will be fixed if this does not fix the problem uh, what you can do reach the screen once again let's move to method 2 click on troubleshoot now click on advanced option and now click on startup settings now click on restart now here there are many options you have to choose four Once you are into the safe mode, now once you are into the safe mode, you have to go to this location, look, C folder where Windows is installed, then Windows, System32, Config, System Profile, App Data, Local, Microsoft, Windows, and Cache. Okay, so, okay, now once you are inside this, just delete all the files inside this folder. Okay, so after that, what you have to do you have to do one more thing you have to go to this location via run command right click on the start button and now go to this location pasted this path in the description of the video okay okay uh, Microsoft Windows and cache okay okay click on okay now once we are we have written this inside this text field click on okay go inside this and delete this also now once you have deleted both these uh, um, all these uh, empty all these folders now uh, just restart okay just restart or shut down and start normally in normal mode and your problem will be fixed so that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek